So a common statement that you see thrown around is that Algorand and other, I, other cryptocurrencies are ISO 2022 compliant. What if I told you that was all nonsense? We're going to dig into that, why this rumor is going around and why it is false on today's Frugal BC. What is up, guys? Frugal BC coming at you with a very surprising uh, piece of information that I was shocked by. I've been spreading this around and not knowing that I was basically spreading false information. I had no idea. But basically, you know, a thing that we've been hearing is that there are five coins that are ISO 2022 compliant. And we're told that this means that these cryptocurrencies are approved for cross-border payments under this new standard. So that should set them well up for the future, right? Well, you know, at least for Algorand, I do think that Algorand is well poised for cross-border payments. So I think that is a good thing and that is true. But it actually has nothing to do with the ISO 2022 compliance. Uh, and we're going to talk about that today. So if you want to get more information like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button and uh, hit the like button too so you can see all our videos. Uh, we're always trying to get to the truth and sometimes we get it wrong. And this is one of those situations where I absolutely got it wrong, as did a number of huge channels. Everybody's been talking about this and it's a little bit of a surprise that we're all all wrong. So. Let me break down what ISO 2022 actually is. This is a standard for the language used in messages between banks. Uh, so it's basically standardized the syntax and replaced an older standard put in place by Swift. Swift has been one of the major companies adopting this. And so the, it's basically just a standardization. It saves the banks money. Yeah, puppy dog. Puppy dog is really concerned about this too. And so she wanted to let you all know that this is uh this is really interesting. So basically, like I said, it's a standardization between banks and their messaging. So what does that have to do with cryptocurrency? Well, yeah, it's a thing. It doesn't have anything to do with cryptocurrency. Uh so this whole thing has been being spread around and everybody, including including the people in crypto, are just baffled how this how this statement came about. Uh, so, for example, uh, this this, I, this was first brought to my attention when someone pointed out Stacey Warden, Algorand Foundation CEO, Stacey Warden's uh, statement on it when JT from JT Invest in You asked about it on his channel. So let's take a look at that. Uh, this one, this next question is a little bit more of a highbrow question, I suppose, but uh, the global financial messaging standards have been evolving over the years, and the European and American central banks have signaled that November of this year being the go-live date for the new standard ISO 20022, in which ALGO is one of the five cryptos reported to be compliant with this new standard. How will this change affect Algorand, if at all? Yeah, you know, the most important words in that question are reported to because like we don't know where that came from. Honestly, that is my honest my honest answer for that. We it doesn't make any sense actually that a layer one protocol of any kind, I us or the other four, would be you know, ISO it's like a it's a it's a messaging format standard. Yeah. So how would that be baked into a layer one protocol? Like I, I don't even really understand what that means. Now you could have a smart contract driven way that you know if it didn't conform maybe the traction the transaction doesn't go through or you could you could imagine somebody and this is maybe not a bad idea for somebody to come up with a smart contract mechanism whereby this was kind of part of the it was the if of the if then statement and you're not wrong i mean it's like on the internet that we are part of yeah. it we don't know where that came from yeah so i watched that and i thought whoa <laughs> what What's going on here? Like, apparently this is just a messaging standard and has nothing to do with cryptocurrency. And I, I tweeted about it, and it turns out that Algorand CTO John Woods is equally baffled, as you can see. So I, I tweeted that maybe John Allen Woods could weigh in here. Or does anyone know the origins of the compliance story? And John said, no idea. He's just as baffled as everybody else. So where did this come about? It's really confusing. Um, still a bit of a mystery, to be honest. So one thing that happens, though, is that someone repeat, someone puts something out there, people like it, they retweet it, 
they, re they repeat it and it goes on and on again. I mean, major channels like BitBoy Crypto and Altcoin Daily have talked about ISO 2022. It turns out it's basically completely nonsense. Now, Algorand does have partnerships with a lot of these major players who are adopting that ISO 2022 standard. And so it is likely that Algorand will be a major player in these cross-border payments. Take a look at this. This is on the algorand.com website. Uh, Future of Payments, Algorand partnered with OMFIF, DMI, HSBC, DM, which is in Facebook, under Facebook, Swift, of course, which I mentioned is a major player that is adopting the ISO 20022 compliance standard and other leaders for what the future holds for frictionless payment solutions. So I think that's a, I think that's a really good thing. I think... I think it is true that Algorand is poised well to be a player in the in this the standard in the cross border payments, but it has nothing to do with ISO 20022 compliance. Now, one other thing that people pointed out is that the messaging, the note system in Algorand does allow for uh, that standard to be used in in the notes, so that that might be something. But otherwise, uh, it really really doesn't have anything to do with anything. So. When you see that list, and then one other thing I wanted to point out is that often I've seen that that XRP is certified from to be ISO 20022. It's ISO 20, 20022 certified. There's no such thing. It says it right on ISO 20022's website and their FAQ that there is no certification process. There's no there's there's basically a list, and they it's a, it's completely voluntary. Uh, the reason you because the reason you submit to this is that it makes it easier for you. It makes it more cost effective for you as a bank to use this one standard. And if everyone is on the standard, it makes it a lot easier. But there's no certification process whatsoever. So if you see that anywhere, that is complete nonsense. All right. Well, I just want to make this video because I think it's really important to put those rumors to bed. I'm disturbed that I've been talking about this the whole time and it turned out to be nonsense. But the one thing we're always going to do on this channel is correct our mistakes and learn from them. And I'm learning from them. I'm trying to think about what I could do. I guess I guess I need to do more research when I hear stuff like this and like dig a little deeper. And that's that's probably a lesson for me. So I, I've learned something. But I, I'm disturbed to learn that I've been spreading this around the whole time. And it turned out to be pretty much complete nonsense. There is no such thing as an ISO 20022 compliant crypto. There are cryptocurrencies that probably work well for cross-border payments, and I think Algorand is one of them. So I don't think that's changed, but uh, that's something I am not ever going to bring up again. <laughs> now I know better. So I, I wonder what you guys think about this. Leave some comments below. Uh, any suggestions for how we can make sure we don't make these kind of mistakes in the future? Uh, happy to hear them. And as always, I'm Frugal BC. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Remember, not your crees, not your crypto. Get your get your crypto off of exchanges as much as possible. And as always, I'll see you in the future.